What's the deal, y'all? Now, today I want to give y'all five responsibilities or obligations that you must carry out while you're here on earth. One of these five things that I am about to talk about and describe is the reason you are here. Your purpose as being the chosen one. You have a specific purpose that you must carry out. And one of these five things that I am about to talk about is the reason you are here. So stick around to the end so you can hear what I'm about to say. And as soon as you recognize the reason that you're here, put a thumbs up and let us know in the comments. You feel me? So I'm going to jump right into the video. Now, one reason, the first sign or sign, the first obligation or responsibility that you may have being here is to raise the frequency of the planet. And this is something that I will say all chosen ones have the obligation to do is to raise the frequency. Because as chosen ones, you move different. You feel different. You think different than the rest of the, 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 the masses. You vibrate higher. So it is your duty to always vibrate high. Do your best, you feel me, to, to vibrate as high as possible. That's why the enemy is always throwing negativity at you, doubt. Trying to lower your vibration as much as possible because he knows how powerful you are. The enemy wants the earth to be as low vibrational as possible. That's why turn on the news is always doom and gloom. Bad things happening. They want everybody to live in fear. You feel me? But as a chosen one, you've been blessed with the awareness to know what's going on, to see through the BS. So now you have the responsibility to always do the spiritual work, always do the, the mental cleaning, the meditations, to make sure that you stay in tip-top shape, that you stay vibrating high. Because the world needs you. We need you. I need you. And, like, and, and vice versa. We need each other to continue to stay at the level that we're that we're supposed to as chosen ones to keep that swag at all times you feel me so that one i feel like all chosen ones have a responsibility to to carry that out to do our best you feel me so the second thing or the second reason you might be here is to evolve humanity you probably see no limitations when the sheep see limitations in everything. They don't believe. You believe that you can accomplish whatever you put your mind to. Even if no one around you accomplished it before, you've never seen anyone accomplish something. Something's telling you that you can do it, that it's for you. That's why it always takes, it only takes one person to to do something, to break the ground. And then you see months and years after thousands of people doing that same thing that couldn't be done before. It just take that one person. For example, the guy that ran the mile, the first guy that ran the mile under five minutes, I think it was. And then you look up months later, hundreds of guys doing it. When before, in all recording of the, of the, of the mile, no one can do it. But you see one person do it, not everybody doing it. You see what I'm saying? So maybe that's you. Maybe you have something that can, that's, that's for you that can change the world. You see what I'm saying? And help us evolve and show us what's possible. Show us what we can actually do. Show us that we are actually limitless. You feel me? So don't listen to the naysayers, people that's trying to belittle you because that's what they're here for, man. The enemy wants to, wants to keep that, keep you in that box, keep you not believing in yourself. So keep fighting through that, keep having faith and keep knowing that you can do whatever it is that you feel like you can do. You feel me? Now, the third thing I want to talk about and the third reason why you may be here is to save humanity. 
save humanity, save humanity for, from this wickedness. You may have the urge to uncover the truth, talk about the truth, spread the truth, help people understand who they are, what they are, how powerful they are, wake people up, break people out the matrix, you feel me? That's what I'm doing on this video. That's what more and more people are doing when they come on YouTube and, and preach this word and talk to people and help people. You feel me? So get over that fear if you kind of hesitant to do it. Don't think that you can that you can do it, that you can come on here and talk. People saying, who do you think you are? Don't listen to them. You feel me? Because it's, it's your purpose. It's, it's the reason that you're here. You're chosen. And you're chosen for something. And that just might be it. You feel me? You never been afraid to stir up the pot. You never been afraid to stand out of line, to ask questions. You never just went with the flow. You feel me? So maybe you're here to save humanity, save, save others, help others. Now, the fourth thing I want to talk about is to, is you are brought here to help people overcome their pain. Now, chosen ones go through a lot, man, a whole lot. We go through the most. And every time you get through something, every time you go through that, that trial, your spirit just gets stronger. You get stronger every time. It seems like everyone gets easier and easier. You feel me? And a lot of times, chosen ones go through things alone. You don't have people in your corner. You don't have people helping you. You only have people doing the opposite. Throwing salt in the wound. So you'd rather go through things alone. You found that it's better for you. You found that it's, it helps you get through it better. You feel me? And the reason why you're like this and the reason why you go through so much is probably to get through it and to go back and and come back and help others get through it because everyone is not or ev and everyone can't be chosen everyone's not chosen so everyone doesn't have the the gifts that you have doesn't have that strength that you have god gave you these qualities to go back and help others help others get through that pain because experience is the best teacher when you've been through a lot and chosen ones you go through a lot you go through a lot you can help you can help these people you feel me? You can be that person they need. You know what I mean? Now, the fifth and final thing, and the fifth and final reason you may be here and the responsibility is to bring something to the world that God wants here. Meaning, the only way God can bring things in through, in, into this 3D reality is through man. So he put people here to bring the things that he feel that he wants here. Like he gave the, the Wright brothers the idea to make an airplane. Now we have an airplane. He gave Steve Jobs the idea to have an iPhone. Now we got iPhone and things like that. The car. Maybe you are here to start that business, start an invention. Bring something that the world has not seen before. Something big. You feel me? So don't listen to the people telling you. I'm going to keep saying it, man. People love to, to ask, who do you think you are? Why do you think you can do that? Don't listen to them. You're going to hear it all the time. And the more you hear it, the more you should know to go to it. To, to, to mo the, mo the more you should know that it is for you. You feel me? Because it's a spiritual war. The enemy knows why you're here. He sees the chosen ones before you see yourself. He knows you're chosen. He knows that you are here to carry out a specific purpose. And he will go to any extent to stop you. You feel me? So if you made it to the end of this video, like the video, drop a comment. Man, I love to read the comments, man. Leave some inspiration for me, some inspiration for anybody that's watching this video. I appreciate y'all, man. And I'm out.